What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo, and we are back with some more Punishing Grey Raven. And today, I'm going to show you something that I think could help out any player, brand new players, any players out there that are interested in playing PGR. And that is the spreadsheet that was developed by another YouTuber called Rexlin. Now, Rexlin, for those of you that don't know, most of you probably do know, is arguably one of the best players in the world in PGR. The guy's been playing the game uh, in the Chinese server. I mean, he's been playing it for over a year and he's pretty much a master at it. If you've ever seen the guy's gameplay, it's just absolutely insane, but also has an enormous wealth of knowledge when it comes to this game. And there's so much information in these spreadsheets that's not even funny. So I got to give a big shout out to Rexlin, one for creating all of this and for really helping out the PGR community, I want to thank him so much because all of this information has really helped me and I know it's helped out a lot of players. And I did get permission from Rexlin to put this on my channel before I did it because I thought that'd be kind of uncool if I put it up here and I didn't get any permission from him. I didn't think that'd be all right at all. So he did okay it uh, as long as I gave props, which of course I'm going to do. He absolutely deserves it. And I will put the link to the spreadsheet in the description below. I will also have a link to my Discord and I'll also have this spreadsheet in my Discord if you're interested in joining my Discord. But if you're not, you can always just look up the link in the description and you can check out the spreadsheets that way. But let's go over this thing a little bit because it's pretty amazing. So starting off in the main here, you have a list in order of all the events and the characters that are gonna be upcoming in the game. And this is awesome. You can actually prepare for the characters that are going to be arriving. Then over here, you have all these links for his Discord, Twitter, and this is for Rexlin's YouTube and all this. If you want to join his YouTube channel, Twitter, Discord, and so on, right? And then you have the Unlock Roadmap. Now, this is pretty cool, especially for a newer player. So a lot of times when people make videos, they're like, you know, oh, you know, you need to clear uh, Memory Rescue to blah, 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 blah. You need to clear, you know, whatever to get certain rewards. And here it tells you where they're at. You know, clear 1-3 normal, you know, get B-Lib, right? And so on and so on and so on through here. And that is pretty amazing, guys. I really like that he has this roadmap here for people because it makes things very easy, especially for newer players. I mean, this thing really is amazing. There's a lot of work that's been put into this thing. And then you have the pets. Now, these are something that are not in the game yet. Something's going to come in the future. This could be very interesting uh, in the future. I'm not going to really talk about this because I don't know anything about it. They're not in global at all, but uh, they're going to add some benefits evidently. Then, you know, you have a B construct list. And this is actually pretty cool because, like, say there's a B construct character in here. Well, all these, actually, all these characters, you get completely free in the game. So, yeah, my bad. You get all these characters completely free in the game. But whenever you go to the A constructs here, these are characters that you're going to get through your base event banner. And what I mean by that is, let me go ahead and turn this off real quick here. Your base event banner is, let me come over here is this right here the base event right up here and when you come in here this is where you're going to be going for your a rank characters and the thing that i like about the having that spreadsheet is you know you can actually look at their skills and effects even when they're at ss triple s and triple s plus which is awesome i mean it kind of gives you a leg up on like these characters because you can't whenever you're pulling for them you don't really know their effects you don't know what they can do unless you watch some other video but with the spreadsheet, it actually gives you the details about them ahead of time. It tells you about their blue orbs, their yellow orbs, their uh, red orbs, and so on. And I, I think that's awesome. That is amazing. And the same for the S constructs, right? Before you pull these characters, you're going to know a lot of information about them ahead of time. And I, th I think that can be extremely helpful. You know, you have your compositors. This is something that we'll deal with in the future. It's not really a, a worry right now. And then you have collab constructs and... You know, these are give us the information about uh, the upcoming collabs. And yeah, we uh, this is 2B here, which is a near collab. So any of you that are familiar with near Automata, yeah, I mean, we're, we're going to be getting a near collaboration. For, I think about a, a year into the future, if I'm not mistaken, around there, give or take. And then he talks about the two, the five star weapons, talking about all this. I mean, so much information. You got the six star weapons here, which is awesome, right? And then he got the in-game memory sets. Now, this is extremely important for a lot of players because a lot of players, you know, they look at the memory sets and they're like, man, what memory should I put on what character? Well, there it is. Here it is. All the information you could ever want. You see for Alpha here, you know, for like the top players and more skilled players, they're going to have four Fredericks and two Darwins. 
for the more unskilled players. Like I don't want to say unskilled, but the players like more solid damage. They're going to want them four patents and two Darwins, which was what I have on her. And then, you know, you have the Lucia Plume here, and they, they tell you, he tells you exactly what members you need here, and so on and so on. So, you know, I was looking at this today, and I was like, hmm, you know, and I mean, right now I'm working on B Live, right? So, you know, in my case, in my situation, let me scroll down here a little bit. And he's got all the, all the future characters too, by the way. So you can prepare memories for future characters as well. But we scroll down here. And uh, so right here, you know, we have Eclipse, right? So the optimal set is going to be, you know, the four Darwin or the two, and this isn't even in the game yet, or four Da Vinci and two Phillips, which is what I'm going to go with because the Da Vinci actually offers a really powerful QTE effect. And a mistake that I made in the last video, actually, you know, now that we're talking about B Live, is I mentioned that I have this Voltaire set on B Live uh, because whenever you do a QTE, we can actually do defense down. That's not the case. Whenever B Live does her QTE skill, she just does a healing effect, right? She just does a little a AOE with a healing effect. Well, the cool thing about one of the card sets that is recommended for her the phillips set right so if you have four da vinci's you know you'd have the qt here triggered right that's going to give you a you know uh increase to your attack it's going to i mean if there's construct if you have four of them there's if there's three constructs on the field you got attack increased by 20 percent, which is massive that is nuts oh and then whenever you do your qte your other character that will be ready to use their qte as well so you can literally bring in B Live and you can bring in another character. Well, with the Phillips set that Rexland recommends, healing effect increases by 10%, but the next healing effect increases the target's physical damage by 10% and defense by 10%. So you get an increase to physical damage, which is insane for someone like Alpha. So having two of these and four Da Vinci's on B Live is extremely powerful. So that's something that I'm going to be shooting for absolutely man and I, I think this is awesome that he has all this information here right you know you have a memory general guide here talking about resonance and how to resonance memories i mean i've, I've made a video about that but so is he uh you have the six star memory level 45 stats you have two to four star memories here right like all kinds of information here that i think could be very very valuable for all of you players out there in case you've never seen this i mean this is dope this is dope and i just again i just want to say thank you so much to rexlin for putting in all this work and for developing these spreadsheets it really is a godsend for all of us and you know and now that i see that right like i'm in a situation right now where i don't know why i clicked on that i want to click on items I'm in a situation now, right, where I just talked about those Da Vinci's, right? I want four Da Vinci's. Well, I got two of them. I got a slot two and I got a slot three. Well, I can farm for those, you know, in the event right now, uh, in the Arctic zone or whatever. What is it? Arctic night, Arctic zone. In the Arctic night, I can farm for those in here. But the thing is, in here, I don't really know which memory I'm going to get. I mean, you're guaranteed a six-star memory after clearing eight times. And I made a video about this a while back. I said, it really, I think it'd be better just to farm a bunch of these region HG4s. That way, you could take all these region HG4s and you can actually get more patent memories. And once you have three patent memories, you can exchange them for materials to get whatever six-star memory you need. So I'm going to, you know, for me, I'm not telling you all you should do this. But for me, I'm taking out all that RNG from farming in the Arctic night, right? I'm just going to farm right here. I'm just going to farm a bunch of region HG4s from c4 here because you get about 70 or a little bit 70 or above of these every time you do it and i'm just going to get a bunch of patent memories and i'm going to get those two other da vinci's that way because it just isn't guaranteed to farm them in here it isn't guaranteed you don't know what memory you're going to get now i've gotten some good memories from here but i i don't like the rng factor it drives me crazy and since we have eight 17 days left of this i really want to take advantage of this vent while I have it going on. That Da Vinci set along with the Phillips set on B Live would be insane, especially since I was just able, and maybe you're in the same situation, or maybe you're actually ahead of me, to get her to SS, right? And now I need to get her to triple S. Well, triple S is gonna take 30 days. You gotta have nine of these shards per slot. And that is 90 of these puppies, right? My bad. I meant 45 days. I had my math a little wrong. It's no really no surprise there, but 
45 days and he'll be able to get this character to triple S. And that's going to be super, super important for the team for Alpha because when you get her to triple S, you're going to get this extra 10% physical damage to all allies on the field. That is her passive. So just having on there on the team is going to give you 10% increase to your physical damage, which is nuts for someone like Alpha or for any other physical damage dealing character that you're using. So, you know, right now, I'm going to be focusing on getting those two Da Vinci's and getting two Phillips for Liv. I'm going to keep farming, you know, two shards every single day for her. And, you know, you guys can do whatever you want. But I, the most important thing really about this video for me was just spreading the word about this spreadsheet that Rexland developed. I think it's very important. And again, I think it just can help all the players out there. Even experienced players can probably benefit from this and especially newer players. So let me know how y'all feeling about the spreadsheet. Let me know your plan of action as far as what you're doing in the game right now. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GMT plus 7 time. The link will be in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See ya.